Hey y'all, welcome back to part two of today's mist stream. We are gonna be doing the finale. We are finally gonna be going to Narayan. Y'all are eating fire food, making me hungry. Oh my gosh, that's always my goal. What are you having for food today, Nikki? Okay, so here we go, Narayan. We're finally there. So you can see there's the shield that he talked about. Let's go, okay, let's go. Let's see what's going on with Narayan. it this is the final world of the game um oh barbecue pulled chicken with roasted potato oh my god that sounds delicious all right so in this room there's a couple of things to note there's there's this guy it doesn't really seem to do anything um there's this guy that you can turn right here so you can point it at at this one over to the left or you can point it at this one over on the right um, we've also got some fancy symbols here on the wall, so nothing really works right now. And then we've got some stairs that we can head back up. So the cinematic had us going down the stairs, and you can see, like, there's this shield. So we can't see out. So this is what Saavedro saw when he first came to Narayan, so you can totally understand why he believes everyone's dead. He believes the trees are gone, he believes the people are gone, like, he believes that he's the last of his people. So we're gonna come up here. And we are going to actually meet Saavedro face to face. What? You're not. Where is he? Look, I know he's here. I have his book. It's not so here, Saavedro. He? It's not here. He didn't come. Nope. I take relation from him, and he sends you instead. Idiot. You actually thought this would work. You thought that you could force him into coming here, fixing things. Why? Why would he rewrite Narayan? Because of your messages? Because of your paintings? Look at your world. Look at what's left of it. When are you gonna get it to your thick skull that you do not matter to him? It's just you and your mallet now, Saavedro. And as for getting in to Narayan, look around you. This chamber is the only way in. And Atris installed some kind of shield, and I have never been able to get past it. Not once in all these years. So you're just as stuck here as I am. At least until I open this book, and I show Atris what it's like to watch your friends and relatives die. find a way out of here, I suggest that you think very carefully about using it. Because the one thing I know about linking books, the doors they open, don't close behind you. So this is it. This is why, despite the flaws of the puzzles in the world building in Mist 3, that it is still one of the best games. It's still just as good, in my opinion, as Riven and as Mist. Be it's because of Saavedro. It's because for the first time, you are seeing from the perspective of the people that the Dunny colonize and everything that he feels and everything that he suffers. 
the masking on the live action scenes is so good too. Yeah, I it, it's aged incredibly well, incredibly well. Um, it's ridiculous how good this good it is. Um, and of course, you know, it, it, the ineffable Wormtail, he does a fantastic job. His performance in this is like, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, so here's what we need to do first. Um, he's right. We have to get the shield down or we're stuck here too. So there's this switch that we can turn. So we're going to turn this switch and that's going to get some power into, uh, into the generators. So... How is this game visually better than Final Fantasy 16? I have not, I have not played Final Fantasy 16. Um, it's just a different, it's a different sort of thing. You know, old, older games, they only had so much to work with to make their visuals good. And this game really used everything that it had at its disposal. So if we turn that switch and we come back down here, now we have power. So what we need to do is take a look at kind of like everything that we have here. So we've got all these symbols on the wall right here, and we've got these two guys right here. So I'm gonna point this to the left one. Yeah, and a lot of modern games just suffer from the same thing that movies suffer from. Everything's dark and brown. Like, why does everything have to have that same color palette? I don't understand. It's muddy, it's not pretty. Like, it's not even like a beautiful earthy brown. It's like just mud. Um, so then we have power, we can open this up. And you can see there's like these circles right here. And that kind of looks similar to these symbols right here. Now these symbols also look very similar to all the different keys that we have. So these symbols are part of Narayan's written language. The people of Narayan have um, a written form of poetry that they use where it's like a four word phrase. So a four symbol phrase to build poetry. So you can see like they've got all these symbols, nature, void, intelligence, like all of these things. And here is the piece of the puzzle that Saavedro never had. If we open up Atris's journal, you'll see that there's these bolded words, balance systems stimulate civilizations, okay? So there are ones for all four of the worlds that we have here. So if we go back, we can see um, dynamic forces spur change. Okay, that is Amateria. If we keep going back, you can see, um, where's the next one? Nature encourages mutual dependence, that's Adana. If we go back just a few more pages, we can see energy powers future motion that's voltaic the last world that we did so if we use those phrases and we match them to the symbols that we have here we can build the poems so we need to build the poems inside of here i don't even care about the darkness i can turn up my screen brightness as i need to what i care about is that it's so hard to see the character on the screen because the backgrounds are so detailed and busy yeah same color scheme as the characters yeah i totally agree with you like it's just not good so we've got these three right here that represents those three worlds, right? Voltaic, Adana, and Amateria. So we need to actually write those words here. So for Adana, we have got um, nature encourages mutual dependence. So I think that's this one. I drew them, I drew them, I pre-drew them so we wouldn't have to do it together. So this is one of them. Ooh, not this guy, this one. All right, so there's one of them. Um, and let me just go peek at which one that was. So, oh no, that wasn't nature. That one was, yeah, there's, they're beautiful. Um, let's see, that's energy. Yeah, so that one was energy powers future motion. So let's next do this nature one here so you can see it goes nature, um, where's encourages? Nature, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Encourages, here we go. And then where's mutual? Mutual right here. And then dependence. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dependence right here. So um, so we can do that one as well. Mm. 
Okay. So that's going to be, let's see, let's do it on this one. So that's going to be like this. So as far as I know, this writing is specifically for poetry in the Narayan society. Um, I don't know if they actually like record other things with it or if they use a different language for that. But this this is the uh, this is the poems that they do. How do you remember these? I don't. I write them down. That's why we have notes right here. That's why we have notes right here. So I would write it down. But I, for these, I actually pre-wrote them down. Um, so for the next one, we have got the final the final one. So that would be just scroll back up to what it said. Uh, dynamic forces spur change. Okay, dynamic forces forces spur change. Yeah. So I, I pre-wrote them down because I've played this game before, but like if you're playing for the first time, you would write it down. So this is dynamic forces spur change. Yeah, you'd have to. In all the missed games, you have to write stuff down. Like, it's not really possible to beat them without it. And that gets rid of this shield. So now, this shield is down. So we can actually get out to the gondola. But we can't escape. But we can, we can get out to the gondola now. So there's this door right here. And then now we can get through this door. All right? <clears throat> and this was the piece that Saavedro couldn't do before. So he didn't have the right book. Like, he had the right idea. He was going into Atrus's study and looking at his books to try to find them. But because he didn't have it, he couldn't do that. And if we go downstairs here, there's a whole bunch of other symbols, okay? So if you remember, there was a fourth bolded um, scripture inside the book, and that was Balanced Systems Stimulate Civilization. So Balanced Systems Stimulate Civilization is uh, is for Narayan. That's the phrase for Narayan. So there's systems, where's balance? Let's see. Um, let's see, balanced, where are you? I must have skipped right over it. Here, here it goes. Balanced, and then... Uh, oh, balance systems, and we're stimulate. Yeah, stimulate right here. And then... Let's see, civilization, where are you? Where's civilization? I must have skipped right over it. Birth control, blah, blah, blah. Where are you, civilization? You're down here somewhere. Maybe it's back up? Let's see. Where is civilization? Where is it? momentum balance weave resurrect it must be back on the other one um but the other thing you need to get down here besides like the whole other tapestry of symbols is here is the tamana book okay so he was never able to get the tamana book either or the rest of these symbols so because he didn't have atris's journal to actually like know what the poems are supposed to be he was kind of in a situation where he was just like you know, guessing what was supposed to go into these. So he never could open up the the uh, the shield, but we now can, because we can do balance system stimulate civilization into this one right here. Um, so now what we need to do is turn the handle and we can see that now that we turn the handle there, the power's pointing to this one instead of this one. So then this shield is back up and we need to remove the shield from the outside using this one. So now we're going to write balanced systems stimulate civilizations. So that is like this. Where 
we're civilization. <laughs> Someone clip it. Someone clip it so I can make that a sound. Make that a sound. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, so there we go. Balance system stimulates civilization. And now the outside barrier will go down. I will in a second because there's about to be more. Barriers down, Savedro. Barriers down. Oh my god. They're alive? How did you. It takes two. It takes two. So remember, this was for the brothers. No. He gives me hope. Destroying. So the outer barrier is open. And in return, I'll give up relation. <sighs> Do it. <clears throat> All right. So we have to figure out if we trust him. We have to figure out if we trust him. So what we're going to do next is we're going to save the game because there's many endings. There are many, many endings that you can get for this game. So we need that save point. Um, let's save a second time. Save. Okay. All right. We'll say it again, Koneko. Are you ready? Where is civilization? Was that good? Was that good and clean? I can say it again later if that was not good and clean. Okay. Um... All right, so let's resume. So I'm going to show you the first ending. The first ending is just like, we're just going to trust him. We're going to trust him. I know he's been through a lot of pain. He's probably he's probably totally fucked. Um, but like, let's just let's just hear him out. Let's just hear him out. Uh, we'll just switch him. We'll just switch him and see what happens. Here you go, Savedro. Exactly what you wanted. We're going to be nice. We're going to be nice. All right. Apparently, it's my turn to live up Relation? to my end of the bargain. Relation. Motherfucker. And then he just he sails off into the pink. Um, we do not get relation. So I guess I guess the Denis home, new Denis home that uh, Adris has been working on, is gone forever. Um. So yeah, uh, we missed our opportunity, and now we have to go. We have to go back to Tamana um, without relation. Still covered in soot. Apparently, I did this all in like ten minutes. They didn't even get a chance to shower. Sorry. All those people. Everything we worked so hard to restore. Idris. Without that book, they're lost to us forever. 
Sorry. Okay, Fab, I'll turn that into a sound alert. <sighs> Sorry, Atris. You lost all your, uh, all your peoples. Uh, my fault. My bad. And that's it. You failed to save Relation. So, uh, so we're gonna try again. Ping you in Discord with us. Fabulous. Lovely. Okay. Um, we're gonna try again. So this lets you kind of restart the game from the point of like finding relation, but we had a we had a save before then. So we're gonna resume. Um we're gonna resume. Yeah, don't save this. We're gonna load this. Okay. So we don't want to trust him. So let's try this method. Let's just walk out and confront him. Like, hey, I swear to God I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch him. Okay, but I just need you to give me relation. Like, I just I I just like think it's a good idea. I will. Okay, I will. I will. But I just need relation. Do it. I will. We already learned you're gonna do that anyways, so you can just give it to me. What are you waiting for? You to hand me the book. Drop the outer shield, or I swear I will let go of this book. Okay. But you're gonna do it anyway. But you're gonna do it anyway. And there it goes. And then he mallets me. And so now we're dead. So now we're dead. <laughs> um. So <laughs> that's another failure route. Uh, you failed to save Relution. <laughs> Uh, to Vedro and his mallet. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so we can't just switch them. We can't go ask for the book. That's not something we can do. So here, here, here's what we can do. So if we go back upstairs here and we turn off the power, both shields are going to be up now. So now both shields are up because we did that. Sorry, sorry, Savage. No. I can't trust you. No. I can't trust you. No, 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 no. I can't trust you. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You don't know this, but I did try. Okay. So when he's done screaming and crying, you can go back down like this. And, uh, and let's talk to him. What's up, Savedro? So you're going to give me the book? Oh, God. No. Please don't do this to me. Not when my family could still be alive out there. You want the book? Yeah. Thank you. Just please, please don't do this. <clears throat> so, if we would like to, um, I can't do this again. I understand, Savedro. I understand. Please don't leave me trapped here like this. I can't. No! 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 All right, so I'm feeling kind of vengeful, and after the two other stunts he pulled, maybe, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay, and um, and we just go back. We just go back, and we don't help him. We just go back and we just don't help him. So anyway, we got what we wanted. So yeah, uh, this is one of the endings. By the maker, you've returned. Atrus, Atrus, come quick. The fire burned the linking book you used. We had no way of following the thought. You've returned, but where's Relisha? Did you bring back the book? Yep. Thank the maker. It's 
fine. We're in your debt, my friend. If this book had been destroyed, everything we worked for, all the people of Relishan, you have been lost to us forever. You must tell us everything. And then I tell them how I'm how I'm so evil because I I let Saavedro die on the gondola with his his world in view but unable and to reach so, it. As I once again set my pen to the page, a heavy sorrow hangs over me. It's true that Relishan has been returned to us unharmed, but the age I wrote to provide a new beginning is secure. But I can't escape the facts of its return. Nothing I can do will change the past. The anguish of decisions that were made must be carried with me forever. But if I had been the one to face Savidro, if I had seen the life my sons destroyed so callously, would I have left him stranded without hope? I don't know, Atris, would you? his dreams to claim my own. And this will actually roll the credits. So this is a real ending, um, but it's a bad ending. This is not the good ending. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and try again. Let's try again. Saavedro so does believe that he would. Okay, so this is the next thing that we can try. So we tried that. Um, it did get us an ending with the credits, but it was the bad ending. So let's still go up and turn off the power so that we can get Relishan back. We're gonna watch his little tantrum again. <clears throat> it's okay, Savedro. Your feelings are valid. You've been abused and, and lost and alone for like 20 years or whatever, right? So like, it's valid. You can have a meltdown. It's okay. No! Are we going to save Saavedra? Well, let's see. Let's see. Remember, there's five endings. We've done three so far. This is ending number four. Okay. So now we still want to go back down and we want to get Relishan from him, just like we did before. Oh, God. No. Not when my family could still be alive out there. You want the book? Yeah. Here. I'll give you the book. All right, so we got the book again. Just please, please don't do this. can't do this again. Please don't leave me trapped here like this. I can't. No! 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 <sighs> okay. So if we want to actually help him, um, we need power restored. So let's go restore the power. And oops, we have now, um, we've now given him access to us and oh no, he has his mallet. Uh, Saavedro, it's, um, it's cool. Actually don't, uh, like I'll just switch it and it'll, and it, it's not fine and you fail. So, so that, that's, that's a failure. Um, that's a failure. So let's, let's load the game and let's try again. <laughs> let's try again. The first time I played this game as a kid, that was actually the first ending I got. And I was like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> and then he kind of whoop with the mallet. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so anyway, let's try again the right way. So we still do need to do those first couple of steps where we turn off the power to convince him to give us the book. So let's do, let's, let's watch the no-nos one more time. I'll watch the no-nos one more time. Oh 
why doesn't he want you to have the book? Because he wants to punish me. Because he's been trapped here for 20 years without access to his people or his family because Atris's sons are evil no. little bitches. No! 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 So he no. wants to punish Atris. No! No! Um, no! Or the sons. Yeah. No! 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 And he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't want Atris to have the book. No. I'm just a random person. So the the player character in this game is called The Stranger. Yeah, Atris' sons are Cirrus and Akinar that were in the first Mist game. So they're they're trapped and they're not coming back. Okay, so now we gotta get the book back again. Yeah, he wants to punish Atris. Well, if if Cirrus and Akinar showed up, he would punish Cirrus and Akinar too. He just doesn't believe that they will. Oh. Like, he just he just believes that Atrus would be the one to come back, and so that's his opportunity to get punishment for what he's gone through. Not when my family could still be alive. And he's gonna get some retribution any way that he can. Want the book? And like it's valid. What Cirrus and Akinar did to him, like they just he deserves his anger. Please. I can totally understand why he wants retribution. Please. I mean, he is mentally fucked from this whole situation. Like, hopefully they have therapy in Narayan. I don't know if they do, but I hope. I can't do this again. Please don't leave me trapped here like this. <clears throat> I can't. No! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Yeah. I, I would agree. He wouldn't put Cirrus and Akinar in the whole quest like he just did with um, with me that he thought was Atris. He would just kill them. Okay, so here's what we have to do. So we have to flip this first. So when we turn the power back on, it's going to be the outside barrier instead of the inside barrier. So, okay, so now we flip that and now we turn the power back on. And oh my gosh, all the trees are still there. You can see them. And Saavedra sails off into the pink. It's all lit up still. Everyone's still there. He can meet his uh, his wife and kids again. So now we have both saved Relishan and we have saved um, Saavedro. Yeah, oh my god, I love the music. I would have quit for station before realizing I need to flip the barriers. I almost did as a kid, honestly. It was so annoying. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've done that, we can go back to Tomana and give Relishan back to Atris. Yeah, we don't really ever get to find out Koneko. We just he just gets to live in life is in peace and um and no one ever goes back to Narayan. You've returned! Atris, Atris, come quick! The fire burned the linking book you used. We had no way of following the whole... You've returned. But where's Relisha? Did you bring back the book? <sighs> Thank the maker. It's fine. We're in your debt, my friend. This book had been destroyed. Everything we worked for. All the people of Relishan have been lost to us forever. You must tell us everything. At last.
last I can rejoice, for Relishan has been returned to me unharmed. The age I hoped would provide a new beginning still lives on. I'm sure that no danger shall befall it. And as I sit here writing in this journal, I rejoice to know that Narayan too is safe. The secrets of its past have been unlocked, and old wrongs have finally been righted. I know now that we can't escape the past, nor can we rewrite it, hoping to lessen our pain. The best we can hope for is to continue to learn, to take from the past only that which is good, and move on. Perhaps in the process, we will build a brighter future. Alright, let's watch the actual credits now. That's it. That's the good ending. I love this song. It's so good. It was, it sounded really good. <laughs> People hate on this game. People hate on this game for the reasons that I gave at the beginning. But now that you have seen the ending, you can see that it actually forms the perfect ending to the trilogy. Now I know technically there is a Mist 4 and a Mist 5. In my mind, it's these three games. Together, they tell the most perfect story. Here's all the live action video shoot people love this part of the game. I wish I wish games did this before. I mean, it was it was a requirement of the technology that they had at the time. That was like the best way to make it look good. Um, and oh, there's Rand Miller, still Atris, still Atris. Tessa, makeup, hair and wigs did amazing job. Heck yeah. Hope you catch many Pokemon, Nikki. So good. Oh, this game is just so good. It doesn't matter that the puzzles aren't as good. It doesn't matter that the world building doesn't like fit together as nicely as Riven. The fact that we get to oh, Jack Wall. Amazing, amazing music. Um, it doesn't matter because what we get to see that's so unique about this game is the perspective of the people that are colonized by the Dene and when they do the art, when they write these books. And that is so valuable to what it brings to the canon of Mist. And I would not have that any other way. So, rest in peace, Presto Studios. You did good. You did good. <clears throat> and that's it. I think that's the end of the credits. Yep, okay. All right, we did it, you guys. We did it. We finished the game. I love this game. I hope after watching this, you now do too. And don't believe the haters that say that this game wasn't nearly as good as Mr. Riven. That's not true. It's not true. I tried adding you, but you're a celebrity and not accepting ads. <laughs> Thank you. Ads for what? What are you adding me to what? I'm not a celebrity. What are you adding me to? All right. So for y'all watching the VOD on YouTube, we're going to end the recording there. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.